State your name for the record. Scarlett, um, Scarlett Hoffman. Uh, that is my name. I mean, I think it is. I haven't used my last name in, God, years. All right, all right, let's move on. How did you get t twangled up with the criminals? Well, first of all, they aren't criminals. They're my family. We do what we have to do to survive. You aren't related to any of them. Hey, no, Josh really is my brother. Well, half-brother. And you don't have to be related to be family, dumbass. Uh-uh. No swearing. We're recording. This song. Answer the question, how did you get your family? Will this get them cleared? It could. Okay, well, about five years ago after the economic crash, my mom lost her job and it was clear she couldn't provide for Josh and me anymore. So what did the bit she wolf do? She up and abandoned us, left. I was 10. I'm sorry. We are able to locate your mother. Don't bother. She's dead. Uh, anyway, with no, other, with no other choice, Josh and I became scavengers. It was exciting at first. I guess I didn't really understand the danger we were in. A couple months in, we met Sasha in a dumpster. She, she nearly stabbed Josh for a half piece of moldy bread. And then she saw me and realized how helpless we were. She used to go to culinary school, so she could make a pretty good meal out of the scrap part of the scraps we found. What about the other one? Devin's really secretive, especially to me. Okay, you're free to go for now. Can I see my family? Not now. Sh shoot. I can't believe they're having us go through all of you. Well, to be honest, sir, neither can we. Well, let's get this over with. Name for the record. Joshua Hoffman. Well, you have the most serious charge out of your whole troop. The first degree murder of John Farm. Well, I'm no Sasha, you got me. Well, let's put the people and your confessioning so easily. Don't you want to be free? Free? Who doesn't want to be free? Don't answer that, I know the crime rate. I doubt you're gonna go free now that you've confessed to a God's forsaken murder. Well, I know, but I know what I did, and I have to take responsibility for that. To do any less would be cowardice. That's incredible, noble for a scavenger. Don't even pretend to know what scavengers are like. You have no idea. Often, I deal with scavengers every day. I have never interacted with one that who isn't either vulgar, violent, or compulsive, or a liar. Especially so many, I wonder if they're still human. Sir, most of us are actual children. Abandoned, lost, abused, scared children who are only trying not to die. You only see the worst side of us. The side that we show out of fear to the people who look at us with judgmental eyes and disgusted faces. Who think they know what we're going through but can't begin to fathom what our lives are like. Um, that's right. I'm sorry that I misjudged you. Your bigotry is forgiven. But you're still charged for murder. And even though you're young, you won't be put to death penalty. But? But you can still have a life sentence in prison. Not the first life sentence I've had. What's that supposed to mean? You may find out. Escaped? How? That's, a, no, whatever. I don't have time for this. The last one's here. That's me. You're in hot water already. Don't get in more trouble with your foul mouth. Okay. Right, I'm good. I hate scavengers. Aw, I hate you too. I'm not taking any of this crap more today. You got another thing coming. Your name, Devin Croft. Survival extraordinaire. Okay, okay Miss Cross, you are charged with drug trafficking. Cool. Take this seriously. I am taking this serious. Your serious is not my serious. So, are you going to be like your little friends and confess immediately? Would it make you really, really ticked if I did? Well, why do I even try? Your job? I have to go to prison for a long, long time. Same. I need to change the scenery. Well, you're not trying to wiggle your way out of this. Nope. What kind of is the fun I have?
Dear Lord, I love getting under inclusive skin. Are you gonna prepare a defense at all? We make the boys on the spot. I can't believe this. You can't believe the scavenger would lie under oath. Actually, yes, I can believe that. I really can't believe is how many subsistence you reportedly sold. Friday gets you the green. You got people addicted. I made them happy. One of your customers died with an overdose. Sometimes you cut across bridges you cannot cross to get pure bliss. You're insane. I know. I'm writing you up as unstable. You're probably going to end up in a insane asylum. That's fantastic. Hope it doesn't haunt you. Dear Diary, or really, half-broken camera I found in a dumpster. My life has gone to absolute crap. Again. Well, really only partial crap. It's been about a week since we've all been interrogated. I'm back on the streets where I belong. Joshua's grounded for a while. He won't even go outside most of the time. And Devin's still away. We don't know when we'll hear from her again, or if we'll hear from her again. I wonder how that police officer is doing. I wonder if she feels guilty. Probably not. They never do. Gonna have to go on, I suppose. Take whatever life throws at us. It's what makes a scavenger.